Thank you very much. Hello, America. The real America. Thank you. And welcome to the biggest celebration of American values ever. I want to thank all of you for coming this afternoon. And it's important that you're here because your very presence is the very essence of American participation in our democracy. Over the past year, there's been a lot of national conversation about government and the direction of our country. At rallies like this one, at town hall meetings, on Capitol Hill, in state legislatures, in coffee shops, and in homes all across America. The conversation, as you well know, has often become heated and sometimes confrontational. Emotions run high because the stakes are high. And people who care deeply about America have become involved in a national discussion about America's future. So in the last several months, they've been gathering to exercise their right to voice their concerns all across our land. It's the same historic right of meeting and speaking up that was exercised more than 200 years ago by patriots who forged our great nation. But most of the national media has either forgotten or chosen to ignore, or maybe they just don't care about that simple truth of American democracy. So the media has engaged in a sinister effort to demonize and marginalize many of the people and groups who've been recently speaking out. Gun owners, you know what I'm talking about. NRA members have been standing up for freedom for decades. We've been doing it one by one all across this land. And for decades, the media and those same political elites have lied about us, demonized us, attempted to marginalize our Second Amendment freedom. They've called us, my gosh, just about everything you can think of. Extremists, wing nuts, wackos, just about every rotten, lousy, nasty, evil name in the book. But we've stood up to all that nonsense. NRA members have stared those anti-gun elitists straight in the eye, and we've stared them down. We know how they play the game. They trot out someone like Bill Clinton on national television to scold people, to watch their words. They might pose some threat of violence. And then all the Chris Matthews, Keith Obermans, Katie Couric's drive home the story. We know that every word spoken today and throughout this weekend will be scrutinized by our opponents. Our words are going to be the truth and we're going to stand by them. Make no mistake, we will never back away from our resolve to defend the rights of all law-abiding gun owners. And we will never fear an absolute declaration that the Second Amendment must be preserved as an unfettered natural right, fully accessible to every law-abiding citizen of our land. And if the media doesn't like it, they can go straight to Concord Bridge and take a flying leap. But we know what they'll do. They'll keep demonizing gun owners. They'll keep calling us names and lying about who we are. So with your help today, let's all give them a really clear view of who we are. When I describe you, and let's do this together, please stand up and remain standing. 
Do we have any police officers here today? If you're currently serving in law enforcement or a retired officer, you protect our streets, our communities. Thank you for that. Please remain standing. How many nurses and doctors are in the audience? Please stand up if you're a nurse or a doctor or a hospital administrator or a pharmacist. Anyone who works in health care in any way, please stand up. Thank you for taking care of us, and please remain standing. How about any teachers? Any teachers in the audience? Please stand up and remain standing. Anyone who works in education, please stand and join those already standing. Thanks for all you do for us and for our children. And if you're a student, how about standing and joining those teachers Education is so important, and we are all proud of you. If you work in manufacturing or construction, stand up and join those already recognized. If you work at a trade, maybe a plumber, electrician, roofer, contractor, truck driver, or other trade, please stand up. You keep America working and running, and we thank you. If you own your own business or work in an office, join those standing right now. How about stay-at-home moms? Any stay-at-home moms here? What a job you do. Please stand. Anyone work in retail or the local grocery, stand up. How about any firefighters out there? Stand up and let us thank you for running into the fire on our behalf. And I know we have many men and women who serve in our armed forces. If you're in the military or a veteran, join those still standing. You have made the great sacrifice that comes with defending freedom abroad and here at home, and we thank you. Do you attend your local church or donate to charity, volunteer for Little League or soccer, love your community, pay your taxes on time, respect your local authorities, obey the law, stand up and be recognized? Are you proud of your country and what it stands for? And are you proud of your freedom? Stand up and be counted. I want, right now, in front of all of America, all the reporters and media to look around at the American people standing in this room. See us for who we really are and see if you can finally tell it straight. Let me make it crystal clear. We are law-abiding Americans who believe that liberty is a blessing not bestowed by government, but by our Creator that must be preserved for future generations of Americans. But the media and the political elites, they can lie about us, demonize us all they want. But that won't stop us, because we are standing up today in this room for who we really are. We are Americans and we love freedom. Thank you very much for being here. We're going to have a great convention. Thank you.